What's going on, Cod Heads? Ghost here, bringing you an informative video here today that I'm gonna going to be dubbing the Quick Fix. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing and be sharing with you three pieces of information that are pretty much the biggest pieces of info uh, when it con when it pertains to the Call of Duty scene. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first order of news that I want to bring to you guys is the fact that it's actually big news. The fact that MLG is partnering with ESPN to bring you some Call of Duty actions and I think maybe League of Legends or and other competitive games to the X Games at Austin this year taking place this June and that is absolutely huge news for MLG that is huge news for the entire esports scene it's the, it's going to get so much exposure and the fact that it's being recognized as a sport even more every like for every passing month and year it's just getting bigger and bigger and the fact that it's now being recognized more and more as a sport is absolutely awesome i can't wait to see MLG at the X Games and see how it's going to be set up and all the uh, and all of that so basically you're going to be able to see your favorite cod pros compete at the mlg x games at austin this june and they will be competing for medals much like they do with the snowboarding events or the uh the sport all the other sporting events for medals so they'll be competing for medals obviously gold silver and bronze that is absolutely awesome that's really really cool i really like the fact that they were able to partner with espn and actually put mlg in the x games that is huge for the organization and the scene as a whole so big congratulations to mlg and um hopefully it'll turn out really really well. i cannot wait myself to see that hopefully you guys are too now the next order of business that i'm getting down to here in terms of news from call from call of duty is the bison is getting the ban hammer that's right guys if you've been using the bison recently in your competitive games or in the pubs be on the lookout for a nerf coming next week by infinity ward many many players were complaining that the bison is just too overpowered and it's outgunning every smg including some assault rifles because of its overall accuracy and fire rate coupled with its power this smg has been ruling the competitive scene recently and is dominating in the pubs category as well so it's been banned from mlg it's been banned from umg until infinity ward can roll out that patch coming later this week so if you are using the bison in pubs, just don't get used to it too much. Use it as much as you can if you enjoy it, and you will not be seeing the way it's performing right now. Be performed later next week with the with the nerf that they are going to be rolling out. So basically, it's going to go back to an even playing field. The MTAR and the Vector are going to reign supreme once again, and uh, hopefully even out the playing field when it comes to competitive. Because I know I've been victim to it, and... Um, even if you use it yourself, you see that the Bison is absolutely just an insanely powerful gun right now. So they're gonna get, it's going to get the nerf next week or later this week. I'm not sure which one it is. So be on the lookout for that. Now the next order of business is that there are rumors uh, actually right now that are going around on Twitter and such that the next Call of Duty will be revealed this weekend at UGC Niagara. And that's actually a good piece of in, a good piece of news because it actually seems pretty obvious that they'll do this, given it's going to be a Call of Duty tournament uh, LAN event. And um, I actually can't wait to see it. I I hopefully we get to see some gameplay. Hopefully we get to see a trailer, get an idea of what the setting's going to be like, the time it takes place in, and some of the weapons that are going to be involved with this game. So hopefully those rumors prove true, and that the next Call of Duty, whatever the title may be, is going to be shown over at UGC Niagara during the event. And um, hopefully it's going to be a really, really good Call of Duty. I'm looking forward to it because if you're like me, I do not I do not care what time period the next Call of Duty is going to be in, whether it be World War I or 25,000 years in the future. I do not care what it's going to be like as long as it doesn't prove upon the fact that uh, as long as it improves upon everything that is uh, not ghost basically pretty much. I need to see them in their multiplayer aspect, make it so it's not as much internet based as Ghost is because a lot of people have that problem with the lag competition and getting shot around corners. Hopefully they do address that situation and the game plays much like it did in Black Ops 2 and the past Modern Warfare series. So guys, that was your quick fix here today. All the pieces of news for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you do, please drop a like down below. Subscribe for more daily gaming HD content right here on my channel. As always guys, thank you for watching. This has been Ghost and I'll see you in the next one.